Hello Bamboo Geniuses, Bamboo Idiot here. Now I've got a bit of a head scratcher. Now while I was messing around with this thing, yeah and I say messing around, I went into this screen which is just off the um, AMS control, just uh, and I clicked that on and suddenly this stopped auto loading. Hang on, let me get film it, there we go, stick it in, nothing. This one, as you can see, fine. Just turn that off, go back to the screen. Give that a few seconds and it'll tell you it's bamboo white support. Gotta wait for these things. Now, white support, cool. Now, pull this one out, put it over here, chuck it in loads fine now I've just been through the ma manual and I've just updated the studio software and there is no way I can see to start it printing from 3 and 2 you have to start with number 1 which seems a bit odd despite everything it seems to be saying so I'm a little bit flummoxed here now I have not updated the firmware on this printer since I've got it because I read all those horror stories I'm going to do it. I've got uh, a repeater, internet repeater. I've got to install and put it in and do it. I'm done it, but I don't know if that's going to fix this particular problem. Um, this just seems odd because even if you click these guys, you can load or unload. No problems. But if you click this one, it doesn't give you anything. Oh, I forgot to mention under this thing. Got to pick a thing and go to that. If I get click on auto calibrate, I get this message. This function has not been finalised yet. I honestly do not know what it means. Hi guys, Bamboo Idiot here again. Um, now, if you saw my last post, you know I was having problems with slot one and the AMS, so I've pulled it out, and I've got the actual driver out. I cannot see any, um, what do you call it, the first stage feeder. Cannot see any wear, tear, any loose plugs or anything, but what I'm going to do is take out number four and put it in number one slot, because I've never used three and four, never ever. I'm still going to order a replacement. I'll check this when I put it in to see if it's still working. It might be something to do with the board. But there are a couple of things I thought you should know. First, there is a motherboard issue on some of the earlier machines. And uh, if you go to the Bamboo site and search it, if you look here, I'll see if I can point it out, you'll see a little resistor marked R151. Now, the little black stripe on that means I've got the late model, which I'm fine. If you've got printing on top of that, you got the early model and you can't use it with the new equipment or something. I can't even remember what they're saying. But what you do is you contact AMS and they'll send you a completely new motherboard free. So that's cool. Now, the other thing, which is not cool, which really annoyed me actually, because I almost broke my AMS, there's four holes that these units screw into, right? One, two, three, four. On mine, the fourth hole, and you might be able to see it, just there, see that little sticker inside the hole that says void? That's in all of them, including this one. So I assumed, oh, maybe they'd put a screw in there. And after taking the other three off and pulling at it, it's obvious they did put a screw in there, so I had to scrape off out the sticker and get the screw out. Very um, misleading. Yeah, a bit annoying. And another thing that is interesting, when I opened up the box, I found an extra screw just floating around in the bottom. And the interesting thing is, they look exactly like the screws that hold the uh, feeder units in. So I'm wondering if one of them has fallen out somewhere along the line, but I can't see any voids. No, all the screws are in place. So, don't know where that's come from. Maybe somewhere else up here. Yeah. But anyway, so I'm gonna swap those motors out put it back together and I'll tack it on the end of this movie. Alright guys, just some more information. So I've taken the four screws out 
and then the manual tells you to press here to pull it out and that reason is they have little pressure clips so that's all you're doing you just once you've undone the plug to the circuit board and the PTF PTF G tube you just press it there and it pull you just pull it out let me just get it up so it can slide out yeah so just pull that straight out just a sec right so I've got number one out number four out that's number one over here I haven't got it mixed up yet, thank goodness. So I'm actually going to put this back in and connect it all up. That way, when it's all set up, I can chuck something in there. Four works great, wonderful. And if one doesn't work, um, I know I've got a problem with this unit. So, uh, And hopefully Bamboo hasn't synced them to the motherboard because these things have a small circuit board in them as well. And it might say, oh, hang on, you've got the wrong motor in the wrong spot. I'm hoping not because it seems pretty much modular. But let's put it together and have a go. Okie dokie guys, got it all back together. Let's just have a look. Uh, filament, everything seems normal there. So we will chuck this roll of PLA Tough I've got in. Let's see what happens if I put that in there. Okay. Okay, it's actually thinking about it this time. Okay. So what have we got? It's actually pulling it in like it's supposed to. And it says it's PLA, it's recognised it. So the feeder units are interchangeable. Cool bananas. Okay, let's say load. And I'll pause this and come back to when it's done. Okie dokie, it's, um, it's just pulled it in, recognised it, ready to go, it's loaded. So it's just doing the purge the old filament now. But here's something funny I just discovered while I was waiting for this to happen. It says, note, the tube length for the feeder in slot 1 and 4 is 230 millimetres. For the feeder in slot 2 and 3 is 195. So just by dumb luck, which is, that's me, I got the you, I chose the right uh, slot to choose. So remember that if you haven't got to do it. If one's faulty, change it with four. If two and three are trying to change them, it's just a bit of PTFE tubes, but you know, just made it a lot easier. Very lucky. Okay, it's loaded, it's happy. Let's choose unload, see what happens. And it's doing the same thing. So back soon. So happily unloading now. Kill. So pull that out, like we should be able to, yep. Take it out of there. So now let's see what happens in slot four. Just to confirm that this is a uh, problem feeder unit. Yeah, this is what happened last time. I go into this, it wants me to identify the um, filament, but none of the interfaces work. I can't get anything to come up, but I can do it on my phone. However, it's not even recognizing there's anything in the slot and we've got the red light on. So definitely a faulty feeder unit, that's easy fixed. And just to confirm that everything's working happily, it's currently printing the Mandalorian Death Watch Blaster. So, bamboo it's a happy chappy. So I'll order a uh, replacement um, feeder and probably a textured plate and a crap load of filament I wonder why my wife hates me. Anyway, I hope this helps. Bye.